Konnichiwa. Hi there, uh, Mafus here. Welcome to Matt's Rush. Um, today I'll be sharing with you one concept that is commonly seen during in exam. Um, but before I continue, I would like to say that uh, I apologize for the shaky video because I'm using one hand to hold on to my camera and the other hand I'll be using to write. So it might not be, it might be shaky, so I apologize for that. So let's go. What concept we're going to talk about today is this. It's called gap and difference. Um, some of you might know it as uh, shortage and excess. So this concept came out in 2015 paper. Uh, paper 2, question 5. It's a two mark question then, okay? But this question is not, it's from me. So what am I going to do these three questions that will be coming up soon? Um, the f numbers are rather unfriendly. So I will be sharing with you this concept to make it much easier so that even for simple question you can apply the concept and even if the f numbers are unfriendly you can uh, you are you will be able to apply the concept easily okay so without fur further ado i would like to just do the question as quickly as possible and this question i can solve within less than two minutes all right but the explanation would take quite long for you to understand so usually for this question if you're in p3 or p4 you would probably learn how to use guess and check. However, when you wish to P5 and P6, if you use guess and check for your PSLE paper, you will most likely waste a lot of time. Hey, what's more if you see such unfriendly numbers? So this is a shortcut method. So how do we do this question is first, identify the keywords. First, you look up for left and short, okay? Of course, the other question will be left, left, and the other one is short, short. So let's concentrate on left, short first. So when you see it's left and short, it's two different things, right? It's different keywords. You add them up. 239 plus 121, I get a total of 360. <coughs> the next step is focus on the keyword H. And over here is 4H and 10H. So because the keywords is the same, I can do 10 minus 4 and I get... Six. So over here, this is called the gap, and this is called the difference. So once you have the gap and difference, you take the gap, divide by the difference, and I know that from here, there are 60 graduating students. Alright, so let's find out the answer. If there are 60 students times 4, I get 240, and then I have 239 chocolates left. So 240 plus 239, that will be my answer, 479. This is the number of chocolates the school have. So let's double check. Okay, if there are 60 graduating students, we give 10 chocolates to them. I have 600, but I'm short of 1 to 1. So if I take 600 minus 1 to 1, I also get 479 and check. Isn't this a faster method? Okay, so I will use the guess and check later to show you how tedious it can be because the numbers here are rather unfriendly. Alright, so this one is left and short. I apply the gap in difference. Now let's move on to second question. So same thing. We're going to apply the concept immediately. However, now the keyword change. So do read the question around. Uh, pause if you need to. So for this question, the keywords here for left and short, there's no short here but both are left. So since the keywords are left and left, it is the same keyword, we minus. Okay. Minus 60, I get... 480 okay next focus on the keywords h which is 3 and 7 so it's always a minus for h i get 4 so 480 divide by 4 from here i know there are 120 participants <coughs> all right so now finally um if there are 120 participants i times 3 and then i plus 540 left why because you give out um, uh, 360 balloons away you still have 540 um, balloons left so in that case you should have a total of 900 balloons and this is your answer double check 120 bal uh, balloons give away 7 you minus um, 60 okay and then 120 times 7 minus Oh, sorry, it's left, so I need to plus 60, I get 900 as well, check. <coughs> Alright, so this one is a shortcut method. And lastly, we have already done left and short. The previous one we did for question 2 is left and left. So now, how about short and short? Same thing, the keywords here is short and short. Same keyword, we minus 406, minus 70, I get 336. 
Next, focus on the each holder. Okay, 25 and 33. Sorry, I didn't pause um, to let you read the question, but please pause it and read the question before I continue. So first, I repeat again, focus on the keyword short. 406 minus 70 and why we minus is because it's the same keyword and next we focus on the keyword each 25 each and 33 each when we minus them because it's the same keyword we get 8 so when I take 336 divided by 8 I will get 42 and this is the number of holder in uh, Rika bot so how many pens did she buy so how many pens did she buy so if there are 42 holders I will do 42 times 25 pens short of 70 and minus 70 I should get the answer as 980 this is my answer so if you want to double check go ahead uh, no marks for double checking though just play safe just check Okay, when you minus 406, press your calculator, you will also get 980. So this is a shortcut method that will work for any uh, gap in difference question. When you see short, short, left, 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 short, whatsoever, each, each, you can apply this concept. Here's the explanation for it, which can take rather long to explain. So let's go back to question one. For left and short, okay, for this question, why do we plus? Okay, so... Um, that's a question. I'm going to draw the model using another color. So first, if you... Okay, always give um, the chocolates the least amount. So four chocolates first, then we do the ten. So the model will look something like this. So first of all, the first graduating students would receive four. Okay? Four. Sorry. And then the second student will receive four. But we do not know how many graduation graduating students are there. So the problem here is that the school have two three nine chocolates left after giving four children uh, four chocolates to each student. So based on your understanding, if you have after giving out sweets, you have remainder, which means that every of these graduating students will receive four sweets each, and then you have two three nine left. All right. The next one, if I want to give ten chocolates now, which means that um, we need to top up each one by six. Okay, each student should receive 6 more. So if I go by 6, this one will minus 6 of course. You will keep on minus 6, giving 6, okay, all the way until somewhere over here. We do not know because why? You realize that um, the last few students or last many students would have would be shut off this amount of sweets. So over here, the sweets given out is from the left over which is a total of 2, 3, 9. Okay, and next... This is the amount that is shot off. 1, 2, 1. So since the number here is short, do you, can you see that why I take 2, 3, 9 plus 1, 2, 1 to get 3, 6, 0? Okay, so if this everything here is 3, 6, 0, and it's 6 each, so a total of 3, 6, 0 chocolates is given out to top up 6 chocolates. Okay, in that case, that's why we take 3, 6, 0 divided by 60 to find out 60 students. Okay, then this is the amount of sweets that <coughs> the school have. So 4 times the number of students, which is 4 times 60, plus 2, 3, 9 will give you the answer. Or 60 students times 10, because everything from here to here is 10. Okay, minus 1 to 1, you also get the answer. So this is the max my model explanation. However, there's no need for you to draw a model for every question. The reason why is that model, model contains no marks in PSLE. So... Why not save the time and just do the shortcut method, okay? The guess and check is rather tedious. So over here for the guess and check method, you need to ensure that the number of graduating students is the same for both sides. So if that's the case, I need to take a number times 4, okay? And then I need to plus 239, okay? At the same time, I need to find the same number times 10 minus 1 to 1, okay? So you need to guess and check. So then maybe we can start off with 1 times 4 plus 2, 3, 9. Okay, we get um, <coughs> 2, 4, 3. And then from here, 1 times 10 minus 1, 2, 1. And we get a weird number because 1 times 100, you cannot minus by anything. So you slowly go up to 2, um, continue, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you realize that because the number is unfriendly, 60 is the answer. So <coughs> 60 students would be 
extremely tedious for you to find out. Okay, so this is the guess and check method. I don't recommend this, especially when you're P5 and P6, when the numbers might get extremely unfriendly. Alright, so because um, the video is about 10 minutes already, I will continue with the next one um, for the, the other two questions. So please continue um, watching for part two because um, the explanation, if you want it, okay, you will, uh, you definitely want my explanation. So please watch out for part two. Alright, so I'll see you soon and yeah.